did Kim Kardashian just get exposed for being on those freak off tapes Diddy loved to make? Yes. So who was with you this weekend? Did Kim Kardashian just get exposed for being on those freak tapes with P. Diddy? And Khloe Kardashian admitted to being at the party, getting naked? Is that is that the tea? I have all the receipts and video. Yes, we have the video, girls. Get, get your receipts. Grab a snack, come on back, because it's going to be a juicy video, girl, okay? So I had no idea that this had happened, okay? Let me show you this little receipt that I have right here. Here we go, and uh, shout out credit to Cinematica. Here we go, guys, watch. To make this. So who was with you this weekend? A bunch of my friends. Diddy, Quincy, Justin Bieber. Ever since Diddy got exposed by Cassie, it's been- You think, hold on, I have more. I have more receipts, and I'm gonna play it for you all today, and this is, I'm shocked. I am, sh here we go, here we go. They're at the bowling alley. Khloe Kardashian references a Diddy party where everyone was naked. I'm gonna show you, here we go. Like the video, drop a comment. Here we go. Yeah, this is last night. She didn't put a bed. I opened a bed, yeah. You have it? I, I wanna be Khloe when I grow up, of course. In the video, Khloe could be heard talking about partying all night with her then boyfriend, French Montana. She then goes ahead to say that everybody at that party was not wearing any clothes. Wait, there's more. In the same video, Courtney, who seems to be the only Kardashian sister who was not at this party, asked Chloe if Diddy, his son Quincy, and Justin Bieber were at the party, and Chloe responded saying that was correct. Yes. So who was with you this weekend? A bunch of my friends. Diddy, Quincy, Justin Bieber. A so far specialist. Yeah. Guys, I am shwoo. The tea is hot. The tea is hot. The tea, the block is hot. The block is hot. Comment down below. The block is hot. I'm telling you, keeping up with the Kardashians and the Hulu thing, it's coming around. Bite them in the ass. Because they, you know, that I wasn't at was the party. It wasn't at me. We have the receipts right here. Admitted. So, um, I think it's time. I think it's time. Let me roll you the receipts that we have. Actually, let me go ahead and we'll take a word from our sponsor. And then after the word from our sponsor, we'll go straight into the receipts, girl. Here we go. Roll it. Manscaped is at it again. They have a brand new bundle. The Groin and Go bundle. And let me tell you, the price is sweet. And I always tell you folks, there's always something for everyone at different price points at Manscaped.com. This has to be, in my opinion, one of my favorite bundles that Manscaped has offered. It's the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, which we know and love. And also comes with the attachment so you can, you know, do the whole gig and... You know, and the handyman toolkit. Now, in case you forgot, duh, the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is perfect for the groin and body hair trimmer, interchangeable skin safe foil and trimmer blade heads, and is waterproof, rechargeable, TSA friendly. I keep telling you, I'm not gonna steer you wrong. The handyman is compact face shaver, dual action skin safe blade head, hybrid long hair leveler and foil shaver blades, of course, waterproof, rechargeable, and TSA friendly. You can get the Groin and Go package for 20% off, free international shipping with my promo code RICHLUCK. So head on over to Manscaped.com and definitely check them out. This bundle is perfect for graduates, mothers, fathers, bar mitzvah, backyard barbecue, quinceanera, or whatever celebration you got going on. Manscaped products feel like premium luxury products. Don't worry about those other guys over there. This is what you need. It lights up. So no matter what skin tone you are, you can see what you're doing or in the dark. Charges up just like you would your Apple computer or a new iPhone. 60 minute runtime, titanium blades. Oh, and I do want to remind you guys, if your blade starts to get a little dull, you can head on over to manscaped.com and you can buy replacement blades over there as well. They have peak hygiene plans. They have so many other bundles to fit your budget. So if you're a baller on a budget like me, definitely check out manscaped.com for all your needs. The Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra is a powerhouse. Do not be fooled by how cute it is. It packs a punch. The Handyman, to me by far, is the most premium shaver I've seen on the market. Just you holding it in your hand, you'll automatically know what I'm talking about. When I'm traveling, my friends want to use mine. 
They want to use mine. They don't want to use theirs. They know mine is good. So check out manscaped.com. Like I said, different price points for everybody. There's something there for you, whether it's underwears, t-shirts, bundles. Definitely check them out. So thank you, Manscaped, for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with the drum. Grab a snack and come on back. What do you think about that? Oh, girl. I need a chill. Let me take a little let me chill, girl. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Drama surrounding Diddy is getting messier by the minute. And did Kim Kardashian just get exposed for being on those freak off tapes Diddy loved to make? Yes. So who was with you this weekend? A bunch of my friends. Diddy, Quincy, Justin Bieber. Ever since Diddy got exposed by Cassie, it's been one legal drama after the other. His friends and all the people who've been covering for him are getting ready to face some serious consequences. And word on the street is, Kim Kardashian might be one of those friends. If you've been following the drama surrounding Diddy, then you know he's facing several lawsuits, his homes were raided, and as if that's not enough, CNN also leaked a video of him putting the paws on Cassie at a hotel in LA when they were still together. Violently assaulting then-girlfriend Cassie. In the video obtained by CNN, Diddy, seen in a towel, strikes Cassie, and after dropping to the ground, she is kicked twice from behind. Speaking of things found in Diddy's homes, the streets are saying the feds found a lot of shady stuff in Diddy's homes. Here's the thing, there's been no proof of exactly what was found in Diddy's homes, but according to Lil Rod's lawsuit, we know he had a lot of cameras set up all over his homes, and we know he had a lot of famous people over at both of his homes for parties. From what we know so far, Diddy's parties were far from innocent. They've been said to involve a lot of alcohol and drugs, and most importantly, a lot of people doing things that weren't exactly legal. Some of those things Diddy had people do in his homes were freak-offs. Here's where things get interesting. If Diddy kept the recordings of the freak-offs in his homes, it's not hard to imagine that the feds found it. In fact, the fans have a reason to believe the feds uncovered many tapes from Diddy's homes, especially because of that clip of Diddy roughing Cassie up. Now, we know Diddy paid the hotel security $50,000 to give him that recording right. According to Cassie's lawsuit, upon information and belief, Mr. Combs paid the Intercontinental Century City $50,000 for the hallway security footage from that evening. So since Diddy paid for the tape, it's easy to say that he had the only recording of that incident. I mean, with what we know so far about Diddy, it's not beyond him to make sure other recordings, if they even existed in the first place, are destroyed. And Cassie is brought to testify against him. The fact that the tape is out there backs up a few of the claims she made in the lawsuit, which makes her more believable to a jury. The streets are now saying a tape of Diddy and Kim Kardashian having a freak off was among the tapes the feds found at Diddy's homes. Listen, at this point we all know that Kim Kardashian unfollowed Diddy 24 hours before the feds raided his homes. Kim Kardashian stopped following Diddy 24 hours prior to the raid. And that's also when she ended a relationship. Which basically means that she knew trouble was coming for Diddy before everyone else. But that's not even the worst of it. Fans have now uncovered a video of the Kardashian sisters attending a naked Diddy party. She didn't go to bed. I opened a bed yet. You haven't? I, I want to meet Chloe when I grow up, of course. In the video, Chloe could be heard talking about partying all night with her then boyfriend, French Montana. She then goes ahead to say that everybody at that party was not wearing any clothes. Go to the plane at 5 30 a.m. on this party. Things have the people that were butt naked. You would Wait, there's more. In the same video, Courtney, who seems to be the only Kardashian sister who was not at this party, Asked Chloe if Diddy, his son Quincy, and Justin Bieber were at the party, and Chloe responded saying that was correct. Yes. So who was with you this weekend? A bunch of my friends. Diddy, Quincy, Justin Bieber, so far so good. Montana. So if Kim, Chloe, and the rest of the Car Jenner sisters were partying in the nude with Diddy, there might be a recording of it somewhere and word on the street is that one of the tapes has Kim and Diddy having a freak off in it. As usual, the fans have had something to say about this, with one fan pointing out that the fact that Kim was married to Kanye at the time makes it worse. And at the end of the day, that's what people get for going to Diddy freak off. He been doing these parties for a long time, and rumors get back, so if you know, you know, and just think if you did go, and you went in a room with somebody that was married and you was married too and you didn't want nobody to know and all the time it was cameras in the room. Wow. Diddy can blackmail and extort a lot of people because he has a lot of stuff on a lot of people.
Some theorists are. I'm shook. I can't believe that. Uh, if I have these, I'll link it in the YouTube shop down below, as long as uh, the new Milani Cheek Kiss bronzer. But I've used it as foundation. If you guys want like little like no makeup makeup look, little boy soft glam, this is it. Cream, and I already hit pan. I'll link it in the YouTube shop. All right, let's talk. Because I feel like we need to talk. So, um... The receipts are now out there. Shout out to Cinematica for putting this together. And I was, when I saw it, I was like, oh no. No, this is, this, this is clickbait. This isn't real. But it, it was real. I cannot believe that. So now that we know, um, there's this other piece of information that I found very telling. It's the fact that Kim Kardashian had unfollowed P. Diddy hours before the raid, allegedly. And that really ended their friendship. How did Kim Kardashian know that they were raiding P. Diddy's house, right? And it was bad. I think Kim Kardashian might have got a word from her PR or her publicist, and it just would have been like, hello, hey, I need you to unfollow Diddy on your social media. Um, his house is getting raided. It's not looking too good right now. And sound the alarm. So a lot of people knew about that. And yet, and yet, Beyonce, Jay-Z, Justin Bieber, Usher, Kim Kardashian, Khloe, Jennifer Lopez still have not come out and disavowed. They need to come out. And I've been saying this for weeks. Why aren't the celebrities coming out and disavowing? Why aren't they coming out and saying, hey, I don't think that it's right. Justice for Cassie. I stand behind Cassie. I always got weird vibes from P. Diddy. Nothing, 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 nothing. And it's, it's very, I'm very shocked because if it was anybody else, if it was anybody else, Jeffree Star, Shane Dawson, Jeff, uh, James Charles, oh, that, I want to disavow, disavow. But it's because it's their own friends, and I and I, I can tell you why. P. Diddy is one of those people that will show up to your fundraiser events, that will um, sponsor your events, that will write you a check for $100,000 to support the cause that you're having for your charity ball. So of course not. Of course they don't want to come out. They want to have their remain their loyalty. And so I think that's why. And I wouldn't be surprised if P. Diddy is an investor of some sort behind something. And this is why I think that they remain silent. I think they remain silent because P. Diddy, although he's not uh, in jail or anything, still has money. And money is power. And power is like respect. And power can get you loyalty. Th things of that nature. You know, and I think that's why they do that. Now, I don't necessarily know when or why or why haven't they come out because if I was a celebrity like Jennifer Lopez, I would have already came out against P. Diddy. If I was Jennifer Lopez, I would have lip synced for my life and said, I always knew it was not, you know, back in 19 something when we did music video, I always thought it was da, da, da. She was like, you know, this one time we were on set and he grabbed my leg, made me feel uncomfortable. I feel so bad for Cassie. And I didn't want to say anything then because I was just a starlet trying to be famous and I didn't want to mess up my <laughs> And start crying, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I just think that Jennifer Lopez, out of everyone, she needs she needs to speak up, especially because she's getting dragged to the mud right now. And Jennifer Lopez, mm -mm, it's not looking too good for her. Hold on, let me get this receipt real quick. Oh, and did y'all guys hear the thing about Taylor Swift? Um, the conspiracy theory with Taylor Swift? Wrists are claiming that massively adored pop star Taylor Swift is actually a clone a former leader of the Church of Satan, Zena LaVey. They do look incredibly similar with nearly identical lips, nose, and eyes. But this similarity in looks is not the only evidence people are pointing to tying the pop star to dark and evil forces. Some former fans of Swift are choosing to no longer listen to her music with what some perceive as a recent uptick in satanic messaging. Christian online star Karu recently made this connection. Willow is that song that everyone says she was doing some ritual on, set, on stage saying summon some demons, all that stuff. So if you go and watch the music video, watch this closely because she's speaking a message. Notice how the rope is connected to the music and it goes down. And this is giving demonic breath. Like how is this golden rope connected to her guitar? And look, she's going back down to these things that connect with people's souls, bruh. Bruh, look at this. Ain't no way, because that... Mm, look, and the dude's down there because she, he listens to her music, and it all connects to the piano. 
The music is literally connected to the demonic realm. That's why Swifties are like the craziest people. That's why when I listened to her, I was like, <laughs> like obsessed because I swear we're not trying to worship her, but we are. He claims that Taylor Swift is enacting some kind of ritualistic spell in her music video, luring some people to become obsessed. Others have claimed she makes satanic symbols during her performances pointing to this moment where she makes a hand gesture which some claim is a devil horn symbol used by Satan worshippers to other followers. Other more out there theorists are claiming that Swift is a psyop concocted by dark elements in the government to control the will of the people and are expecting something to take place at the Super Bowl involving the pop star which will prove this theory. It's undeniable that Taylor Swift holds an incredible power over her followers, with many fans seemingly lost in religious ecstasy at her performances. At what point does adoring a pop star cross over into religious territory? Is there a danger in this trend? Is she subtly entrancing millions to praise and worship her like a god? Or is Taylor Swift simply tapping into a deep need in society now? filling a spiritual void with meaning enough to help people get through life. You'll have to decide for yourself. In this clip, Lady Gaga is giving a speech about evil. It seems, however, that she starts to speak about something darker and possibly supernatural. Hatred or evil, whatever you want to call it, it's intelligent, it's smart, and it's invisible. It's an invisible snake. Is Lady Gaga talking metaphorically? Or is she trying to hint to us about the existence of an invisible snake-like evil which is trying to influence our thoughts and behaviors? A snake-like creature is also referenced by another pop star, Billie Eilish, in this interview. Are these creative people, who could be tapped into consciousness on a deeper level, trying to warn us about some kind of invisible evil? You gotta hear that? They said that Taylor Swift is a demon, girl. And I was kind of shocked by that part. All right, so that was enough of that because I get so confused. I, I believe it. And I believe that Taylor Swift little demon demon vibes, girl. I believe it. I really do. But anyway, it doesn't matter what I think about that drama in the comments down below. You let me know what you think about all that, okay? Is this some scorching hot tea? My name is Rich Lugs. Drop a comment. If you made it this far in the video, drop a heart, okay? Drop a heart comment if you made it this far because I can't get a like to save my life. I can't get a comment to save my life. I'm a subscriber. But anyways, I'll see you guys later. This is Rich Lugs with the hottest celebrity news on YouTube. Mwah.